Dr. Beaton here. I'm named after all the game, after what I do to games. I've beaten them. And this is another game by the same genius who made Masao. And it's just called Mad Father. And as you can see, it's snowing backwards. Let's continue. Shit. I forgot this was the first episode. New game. Let's watch an intro. Because they always have them. Alright, what's going on? Scenario illustration by Sen. You are an awesome person! Oh my gosh, and you can art. You can art all over my computer screen. You are such a good arter. That is an awesome production tool. Ah. And look at that moon! It reminds me of Moon Moon, the retarded wolf. Fucking Moon Moon. These are also awesome! Dragon's Triple X. That sounds dirty. And Boogie Wat sounds like a Pokemon. So does Pipoya. No, Pipoya sounds like a fruit. It sounds delicious. Damn it, who brought fucking Moon Moon along? I like free music. I must visit them sometime. That sounds like the Census Circus is where they keep track of all the people who go to the circus. And I don't even know the rest because I didn't bother to read them. And look at my fabulous house. I must be Bruce Wayne. That's the only explanation. That or I'm dummy. But I don't think I'm a dummy. I think that these are these are people who like play tested, which are really all. Thank you, awesome people. Anyways That's a font. We all know what a font is. A font is is where where you think they're doing something, but they're doing something else actually. No, that's a front. Okay, some of us don't know what a font is. But no one really has time to explain it. I'm not gonna Google that like I do with other things. Oh my gosh, look at me! Is that me? There is that her. Did you just give the debuggers a shout out with that little painting? That'd be pretty neat, but like, it's kind of misleading. A little bit. I hope you are not a debug. I hope, I mean, I hope you're. A, I hope. Oh my gosh, I am the little girl debugger Batman. Fuck yes, in so many ways, and I live in a miscreant's room. Little debug bat. Wait, but I am not a man, I am a woman. I am a transvestite Batman? Who can debug? And with the father who is very angry at me for being a Batman? He's totally okay with the transvestite, but not a Batman. Northern Germany. Drevis residence. Volume increase. Oh wait, it's already increased. Father! Is that me? I look adorable. Do I have a little hat? Father, are you- Oh my fucking god, I look adorable! <clears throat> Father, are you in there? Father! Ah oh, yeah, how many times have I told you not to come down here? About three, Father. But you know I have hearing problems. I'm sorry. But I'm- I'm too scared to sleep on my own. Ah oh, yeah. Don't worry, you're never alone. Your late mother is always there at your side. That's not creepy, that's just comforting. Be comforted by the dead mama. She always looking after you, Aya. Okay? Now please get to bed. Yes, father. Good girl. Are you a surgeon? Father, tomorrow's... Yes. The anniversary of her death. We'll visit her grave together. Okay. Now back to bed, please. I'll be resting too shortly. Okay. He seems nice. He doesn't seem mad at all. He seems st stop. No. Wah! Help me. Help! I still think he's nice. I know father's secret. My father is a scientist. He loves research, and is always locked up in the lab in the basement, and I've always heard things from that lab. Animal and human screams. Even at a young age, I knew what my father was doing. So I pretended I wasn't looking. That I didn't know or hear anything. I feigned ignorance the whole time, because I loved father. Okay, so maybe he's not a nice guy. That's not the only secret I know. When Mom and I weren't around, he and his helper... He has a helper? Is it me? Please let it be me. I want to play the bad guy. A fine sample. 
I shall dispose of the remaining materials myself. That can wait. Come, Maria. Doctor! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Doctor! Oh, baby. She's aware of our... Relationship. Hmm? What does that matter? I don't believe she's fond of me. That is the problem. The girl will be eleven soon. It's a troublesome age to be sir. Be kind to her. Please. Make sure she is never harmed. She is my most precious... Dong. Ding dong. It was a bell. Another bell! Okay, so my father's not the nicest guy. And there are constant bells. My mom is dead. He bangs the maid. And commits human and animal dissections and experimentation in the basement. It's midnight. Today's the day my mom went to heaven. Mom. I can never sleep when I think about mom. Also, we apparently live in a huge mansion. I think. That or the mansion at the beginning was very misleading. A portrait of mom. Mom. She had nice boobies. What should I do, mom? I do love father, but she scares me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Mom. I have a sore throat. She's always looking at me with those eyes. I hate her. But I know father likes her. If father and her got married, I guess she would be my new mom. I don't want her to be my mom. I don't need a new mom. There's only one mom in the world for me. Mom. Why did you have to go? Why don't I mention you by name? Are you actually named Mom, like that one person from the Speed Racer? That's kind of awkward, but okay. I still love you. Hello, doll! I love you too, doll. A doll. I got from father. It's so old and worn. Is it so awesome and fantastic too? Probably. All dolls are. Except Barbie. And Bratz. Okay, some Barbie. But not the brats. In fact, no dolls. No dolls at all. I bought you a present, Aya. Yay, it's a doll. Oh, man, I even look cuter now. I fucking love it. Thank you, Father. What a pretty doll. It's almost like it's... Oh, my gosh, he made it out of real people, didn't he? Holy shit. That's probably what happened, seeing as he has, like, an excess of human parts. Fuck. My imagination just made that doll traumatize me. Damn it. Oh well. Hi, teddy bear. Are you made from a real teddy? Or a real bear? Or a real bear's teddy? Nothing? No flashback for you? Alright, fuck you, teddy bear. How about you, bunny? Snowball, the pet rabbit. Fuck yes. Flashback. No? A box full of memories. The red-eyed strange... What? <gasps> Something fell out. Check this first. The Dark Quartet. Wait, what? Horus the Traitor. He was also Egyptian. I don't think I can fall asleep. A dresser full of clothes. A dresser full of clothes. She makes the weirdest little noises. It's adorable. Look. See? Fuck yes. What are you? Mm -mm. What's this? I just asked that. Got a gem. Sweet! I am so fabulous. Gems are hidden in various places. Some require doing special events to get. You can see a gem count on the menu. Find them all and... And... Exclamation point will appear. The room feels cold all of a sudden. I'm kind of scared. I should go back to bed. Where I'm nice and helpless. Alright, bedtime. 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 Get in the fucking bed. Good night. Well, okay, then. Well, this is an interesting game. With beautiful singing. I love this singing. I want it. Is he eating cereal? You sing so well, Aya. I love you too, Dad, even though you're a nut. Father, would you look this way? Give me a moment. Just put this here. Eureka! Yes, it's finished. What is it?
Oh my goodness! A flower crown! Oh my gosh, it's so amazing! Does it look good on me? Yes, I think it suits you well. Yay! Thank you, Father! I will cherish it forever. I'm sorry I can't always play with you. Father, I know you're busy chopping people up. It's all right. I'm glad I could play with you today, Father. Why don't you have a name? Does it not translate well? Hey, it's Mommy! The real one, not the maid. Oh my, you two were playing? Mom! Hi, Mom. Look, Father made me a flower crown. That's wonderful. It looks great on you. Ah, yeah. So you played with him all day? Yeah! We should do this again, Father. Yes, we should. Next time, your mother should join in. Well, I look forward to it. Cough hack! Mom! Uh, I'm sorry. Just another fit. Hack wheeze! Don't push yourself if you're not feeling well. Come, get some medicine from Maria. It should help you get better. No, I can get that myself. Mom, are you hurt? You okay, right? Sorry to worry you. I'm perfectly fine. Don't look so anxious, please. I, your smile keeps me going best of all. If I can't see you smiling, it only makes me worry. Mom! Wait, Maria's... Okay! Now let's get back for dinner. I made hamburger steak. Fuck yes! Your favorite, Aya! Hooray! I love Mom's hamburgers. Right, Father? <laughs> of course. Her hamburgers are the best in the world. Fuck yes, we're a family of hamburger eaters. Ah, I don't know why that excites me. We were so happy then. There was Maria, but even so, the three of us were a happy family. But then Mom passed away from illness. And the happiness we had then, well... If Maria's the maid... Does that mean she might have poisoned her? Or something? Fuck it, I don't want to solve mysteries. I am not Scooby-Doo. Let us just play game. Well, someone just got hurt. Huh? That scream. Father? Father! Something must have happened. I'll go check on Father. How the fuck do I save it? I was about to say in the next episode, thinking that there was a save thingy here, but now I don't know how to save it. How do I save it? Son of a bitch! I have to figure this out. I have a bad feeling. Save it! Ah, oh, fuck it. More cutscenes. What's this? Is it a voice? Oh, well I just got invisible bitch slapped. Eek! Oh. Hello, zombies. Are you what my father was experimenting on? No? No, don't! Okay, it's now what my father was experimenting on. This way! Daddy! Right? Who's that? Come this way. Is there someone there? Alrighty. My daddy made some zombies, and... There is a random blonde guy. Hello, random blonde guy. How are you today? Are you okay? Who are you? This way. You look like a zombie, too, kind of. But a sexy one. Who? Stay with me. I said, see, I called it. I said, this way. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, hello, Mr. Tuxedo. Who's that? <gasps> oh my gosh, 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 it's Onaga Bambi! The other game! Yeah, oh, that must mean Pant Pant is here too, so much win! Many interesting books in this room here. Do you like books, my dear? Who are you? Now don't be so aggressive, I'm merely a salesman. Salesman? Salesman is fucking awesome. Call me Ogre. I hope to get to know you, young lady. But it's quite troublesome to think that corpses loiter around the house. Corpses? Those monsters back there? They're like monsters from a story. Why would monsters like that? Well, it's a curse. What you saw were the corpses of your father's test subjects. Overcome with anger, those deceased have been brought back by the power of a curse. To take revenge on your father, of course. What? So father is in danger? I have to save him. Why is that? To achieve his desire, he has killed so many people as part of his experiments. This is his retribution. You must have realized by now your father's true nature, and yet you wish to save him? Totally! I always secretly cheer for the bad guy. But more importantly, I cheer for a save point by the end of the episode. 
my, my. Perhaps the end.